the nagging wife many times the reason the wife nags is because she gets no attention. Oftentimes, it is a craving for love and affection. Give your wife attention, and show your appreciation. Praise and exalt all her many good points. There is also the nagging type of woman who wants to make the man conform to her particular pattern. This is about the quickest way in the world to get rid of a man. The wife and the husband must cease being scavengers, always looking at the petty faults or errors in each other. Let each give attention and praise for the constructive and wonderful qualities in the other. The brooding husband if a man begins to brood, grows morbid against his wife because of the things she said or did, he is, psychologically speaking, committing adultery. One of the means of adultery is idolatry, that is, giving attention to or uniting mentally with that which is negative and destructive. When a man is silently resenting his wife and is full of hostility toward her, he is unfaithful. He is not faithful to his marriage vows, which are to love, cherish, and honor her all the days of his life. The man who is brooding, bitter, and resentful can swallow his sharp remarks, abate his anger, and he can go to great lengths to be considerate, kind, and courteous. He can deftly skirt the differences. Through praise and mental effort, he can get out of the habit of antagonism. Then, he will be able to get along better, not only with his wife, but with business associates also. Assume the harmonious state, and eventually you will find peace and harmony. 153. The great mistake a great mistake is to discuss your marital problems or difficulties with neighbors and relatives. Suppose, for example, a wife says to the neighbor, John never gives me any money. He treats my mother abominably, drinks to excess, and is constantly abusive and insulting. Now, this wife is degrading and belittling her husband in the eyes of all the neighbors and relatives. He no longer appears as the ideal husband to them. Never discuss your marital problems with anyone except a trained counselor. Why cause numerous people to think negatively of your marriage? Moreover, as you discuss and dwell upon these shortcomings of your husband, you are actually creating these states within yourself. Who is thinking and feeling it? You are. As you think and feel, so are you. Relatives will usually give you the wrong advice. It is used of ally biased and prejudiced because it is not given in an impersonal way. Any advice you receive which violates the golden rule, which is a cosmic law, is not good or sound. It is well to remember that no two human beings ever live beneath the same roof without clashes of temperament, periods of hurts and strain. Never display the unhappy side of your marriage to your friends. Keep your quarrels to yourself. Refrain from criticism and condemnation of your partner. Don't try to make your wife over a husband must not try to make his wife over into a second edition of himself. The tactless attempt to change her in many ways is foreign to her nature. These attempts are always foolish, and many times result in dissolution of the marriage. These attempts to alter her destroy her pride and self-esteem, and arouse a spirit of contrariness and resentment that proves fatal to the marriage bond. Adjustments are needed, of course, but if you have a good look inside your own mind, and study your character and behavior, you will find so many shortcomings, they will keep you busy the rest of 154. Hear me. If you say, I will make him over into what I want, you are looking for trouble in the divorce court. You are asking for misery. You will have to learn the hard way that there is no one to change but yourself. Pray together, and stay together through steps in prayer. The first step, never carry over from one day to another accumulated irritations arising from little disappointments. Be sure to forgive each other for any sharpness before you retire at night. The moment you awaken in the morning, claim infinite intelligence is guiding you in all your ways. Send out loving thoughts of peace, harmony, and love to your marriage partner, to all members of the family, and to the whole world. The second step, say grace at breakfast. Give thanks for the wonderful food, for your abundance, and for all your blessings. Make sure that no problems, worries, or arguments shall enter into the table conversation. The same applies at dinner time. Say to your wife or husband, I appreciate all you are doing, and I radiate love and goodwill to you all day long. The third step, the husband and wife should alternate and bring each
each night. Do not take your marriage partner for granted. Show your appreciation and love. Think appreciation and goodwill, rather than condemnation, criticism, and nagging. The way to build a peaceful home and a happy marriage is to use a foundation of love, beauty, harmony, mutual respect, faith in God, and all things good. Read the 23rd, 27th, and 91st Psalms, the 11th chapter of Hebrews, the 13th chapter of I Corinthians, and other great texts of the Bible before going to sleep. As you practice these truths, your marriage will grow more and more blessed through the years. 155. Review your actions 1. Ignorance of mental and spiritual laws is the cause of all marital unhappiness. By praying scientifically together, you stay together. 2. The best time to prevent divorce is before marriage. If you learn how to pray in the right way, you will attract the right mate for you. 3. Marriage is the union of a man and woman who are bound together by love. Their hearts beat as one, and they move onward, upward, and Godward. 4. Marriage does not become happiness. People find happiness by dwelling on the eternal truths of God and the spiritual values of life. Then, men and women can contribute to each other's happiness and joy. 5. You attract the right mate by dwelling on the qualities and characteristics you admire in a woman or a man, and then your subconscious mind will bring you together in divine order. 6. You must build into your mentality the mental equivalent of what you want in a marriage partner. If you want to attract an honest, sincere, and loving partner in life, you must be honest, sincere, and loving yourself. 7. You do not have to repeat mistakes in marriage. When you really believe you can have the type man or woman you idealize, it is done unto you, as you believe. To believe is to accept something as true. Accept your ideal companion now mentally. 8. Do not wonder how, why, or where you will meet the mate you are praying for. Trust implicitly the wisdom of your subconscious mind. It has the know-how, and you don't have to assist it. 9. You are mentally divorced when you indulge in peeves, grudges, ill will, and hostility toward your sharing partner. Conscious mind resulting in mutual trust, affection, and respect. 12. A nagging wife is usually seeking attention and appreciation. She is craving for love and affection. Praise and exalt her many good points. Show her that you love her and appreciate her. 13. A man who loves his wife does not do anything unloving or unkind in word, manner, or action. Love is what love does. 14. In marital problems, always seek expert advice. You would not go to a carpenter to pull a tooth, neither should you discuss your marriage problems with relatives or friends. You should go to a trained person for counsel. 15. Never try to make your wife or husband over. These attempts are always foolish and tend to destroy the pride and self-esteem of the other. Moreover, it arouses a spirit of resentment that proves fatal to the marriage bond. Cease trying to make the other a second edition of yourself. 16. Pray together and you will stay together. Scientific prayer solves all problems. Mentally picture your wife as she ought to be, joyous, happy, healthy, and beautiful. See your husband, as he ought to be, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and kind. Maintain this mental picture, and you will experience the marriage made in heaven, which is harmony and peace.